Welcome to MJ Hobby Corner. I hope everyone is well. And in this video, I want to show my miniatures work. Uh, I do a lot of scratch building in this channel. And uh, from time to time, though, I really like, I would like to add a lot more material, a lot more content on miniatures. Because, of course, miniatures are the heart of our hobby. And so I work in multiple scales, primarily a 15 millimeter, 172 scale and 28 millimeter. And in this new series, we're going to document my monthly work on these miniatures. Okay. I have set aside one, sometimes two, sometimes even a week of just working on my miniatures because I have quite a few that need work done. So without uh, any further ado, let's go see what I've done. All right, so here is some of the miniature work that I've completed uh, last Monday. Uh, today is Tuesday, so yesterday. And I was busy getting some skellies uh, painted. Okay, now please keep in mind, this is my disclaimer. I am not a professional painter. I only paint tabletop quality. Uh... And basically, that's why I don't have any painting videos on my channel, uh, because I really think I feel that there are many other people out there who have a lot better uh, skill than I do painting and certainly have a lot better, uh, you know, uh, tips and information to give you. There's plenty of painting videos on YouTube. Look at those skellies. I, I love this undead kit. Uh, thanks to Mark, subscriber Mark, for recommending this kit. Uh, and I went out and purchased it. This is 172 scale, and it's a whole bunch of undead, and this kit did have a lot of skellies, okay? I already reviewed the box, and basically with this, uh, these two sets of skellies that I started yesterday, once they're finished, the whole, all of the skellies in the box will be finished. Now, there's still a little bit of washing to do here and there, okay? And then, of course, I have to paint everything. So, a really good kit. I, I, I like this a lot. So, that's where I am with the Undead box. I also finished uh, quite a few of the heroes. I finished a lot of the uh, wizards. I'll show you those in a second. Also worked on some harpies. These are from Battle Valor. And, uh, no, I could be wrong on that. I'm sorry. These are probably from Splintered Light Miniatures. Uh, and I'll be honest, I don't remember. Yeah, these are from Splinter Light Miniatures, I believe. And basically, uh, these harpies I'm using in 172 scale because they're not very uh, small. They're, they're a big harpy, okay? And so I'm using them in 172 scale to represent harpies because in Broken Legions, we're going to need harpies. So I'm thinking about the games that I'm going to be using these for as I paint them and assemble them. And the Romans, I'm happy to say these are the last of the Romans. I've finished, there were 35 bit figures in the box. Okay, this is one of the last few batches. And um, here I have their bases gluing up and I have them on the sandpaper and I will be cutting these out and then what I do is I simply add a little bit of uh, tufted grass there to hide the base a little bit and there you go so uh, this these two Roman uh, paint caps are what I have left in the box out of 35 figures so these are almost finished I'm very happy about that so I have 35 Roman figures for a unit uh, I will probably be getting some Roman cavalry and uh, very cool. Okay, so those are pretty much finished. Uh, the entire box. I'll show you them on the shelves, uh, the painted ones in just a minute. Here is the troll. And I called this a uh, vampire or whatever. I, I was wrong about that. It is a troll. Uh, but still, you know. It would be nice to add some wings, I don't know, and turn into some kind of Nosferatu vampire. But either way, it works as a troll for me. Um, and there are plenty of armies uh, to use this guy with. Okay. And I did mount him on an old Lord of the Rings base that I had. I had nothing else. And I didn't really want to cut up anything, so I just mounted it on that. So be it. 
Okay, so nice figure. I, I like this figure a lot. And this came with the undead box from Caesar Miniatures. Okay, and I'm still working on these. I still have some work to do on these. Uh, but I'm happy to say that I got a good portion of the box finished. I'm going to have plenty of skellies for some armies. And then I'm going to have plenty of Roman figures. All right. So let's look at the shelf a little bit and we'll see some of the other figures. All right. So here is the shelf with uh, the other skelly figures that I finished from the box. Okay. So as you can see, quite a few skellies. Uh, there are some figures back there that I'm painting as as humans opposing the roman army in the game broken legions we can use them as several of the other factions uh we have an archer lady there there go the heroes okay so i finished a few heroes so i have a few magic users um or miracle workers as they are called in broken legions and there's the vampire lady one of my favorite figures 172 scale and then these are all the roman figures that i finished look at all that okay so i have my little war dogs there those are from another uh 15 millimeter kit they fit perfectly with these romans uh those were from battle valor those dogs and they come with a little man and two other dogs so i'm using them as roman war dogs here but look at all the Romans that were finished. So yeah, good progress on these figures. And this is one of the uh, shelves that they're, they've come to rest on, ready for their tabletop careers. Okay, so basically these are the Ladies on Lions from Manta Games. These are Basileans and these are the sisters, uh, the sisterhood cavalry mounted on their panthers their war panthers or war lions uh very good kit what do i have to say about this uh it was a bit some of the figures i did have some trouble uh, assembling and that could just be because i am becoming a grumpy old man who uh is becoming uh less and less patient with time so uh yeah keep that in mind <laughs> <laughs> but basically yeah so it could be me but i did have some trouble assembling some of the figures and that's only the arms uh because the arms are so small they have very little uh area for gluing uh but i get them assembled i use a little bit of putty tiny tiny amounts of putty and that helped take care of the problematic things a little bit of milliput you know or any of that stuff really really helps uh so yeah i, I mean Really, it does not discredit the kit, guys. It does not. It's a good kit. I love Mantic games, uh, to be honest. I really like Mantic miniatures. Um, I'm going to see if I can get this focus because the camera is uh, having problems focusing. But there it is. You have uh, the figures come in, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's about uh, six parts each figure. Okay. Uh, the lion come in halves. And then the rider has several parts, and uh, you just got to put them together. The last box that I started assembling today uh, is a Brock Riders Regiment box. Here is one of the figures, Dwarves on Badgers. I absolutely love these guys. I do love these guys. These won't go together very well. Um, their arms have bigger uh, glue spots there. So they go together very well. Uh, there's uh, the, This one has a little bit of a sprue that gives you some of the parts. And let's just uh, look at this for a minute. Okay, there's a lot of parts to these. You get a, quite a few figures. Um, and I took them out of the baggie. They normally come in a baggie. Okay, uh, traditionally what Mantic will do, you have all your little parts in a small baggie. Okay, so they don't get lost. And then uh, these guys come in halves, so you have to look for the appropriate half of the figure, and it's it's a headless one. Yeah, okay. So, but basically, these guys are going to come in halves, okay? And that's your badger. You do have cleaning around the neck. You have to trim all that stuff. They come together. Very, very nice. Uh, I love the badgers. Very, very nice. Very good detail. Let, let's look at it a little bit. 
okay not bad not bad and the badger does have some armor now there are some bits right here you see that a uh, hole in there okay a hole in there and those are armor pieces and those are on these little sprues and uh, usually they're together you also have a head there's a head yeah so you have some sprues here's an armor bit okay and these are the armor bits that go to the shoulders they're together okay so those are the ones that um right there and you have to look for the right one to put the right one in there and i do have a little bit of trimming there to do um the writer himself look at that mean face and these dwarves are very wild looking kind of like wild dwarves so very barbarian looking i love it i love it great great little kit so i have a lot of work here these are probably not going to be done this week they'll be done next week so i'll have another update uh, again, uh, these videos will probably come out monthly, you know, once a month, twice a month. I don't know, uh, depending on how much work I got done and how, well, how interesting the work is. Okay. So maybe just once a month and it'll update you guys on what miniature work I'm doing because I don't only do scratch building. I do a lot of miniature work and miniatures are the core of our hobby right it's 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 what we love to do it's play with miniatures so i i was never really interested in playing this game these are from cool mini or not but i do have to say i mean as a collector they really have some cool cool miniatures uh so not too bad i mean i look at this guy i love his uh cape the flowing cape and he's obviously like the leader here he has the plume so i do want to paint these um very soon and so that's why they're part of my uh workload here and so you'll you'll see an update on these in the next painting monday's video okay or whatever so we will be working on these as well all right folks uh well that's it um thank you for uh supporting the channel thank you to my patrons uh for their support do consider visiting our Patreon if you want to support our work, help us out. Patreon will definitely help us out. Uh, and uh, see you in the next video, okay? A lot more miniature work coming. Uh, I have a lot of models to paint and to review, okay? So these will, this is part of a series that I'm now assembling. I'm trying to restructure my focus. And you're going to see some changes on the channel as well. So thank you very much. And we'll talk in the next video.